bitch on your head. Right guys, another day, another video, and in today's video, I got a cool one, so it is how you can use Google Earth Studio. Now, basically, Google Earth Studio is the Earth, but in 3D, that has 3D buildings and stuff like that. And with it, you can animate movement, add keyframes, and make cool shots for your videos. But yeah, in today's video, I'll show you can make this drone shot that you're seeing on screen. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And a shout out to Brian for the video idea. But let's begin with the video. Right, so I left a link for this in the description. Once you're over here, you want to click on Try Earth Studio. Right, so if this is your first time, this is where you will find yourself in. So you want to enter your first and last name. Or you can enter your school here or something like that. Your country, your industry, and how will you use Earth Studio. Then click Submit. Right, and once you're here, you got to wait about 23 hours. Because that's what it took me. And then you're going to get an email from Google saying that you got access to Earth Studio. So once you have access, you want to go to Try Earth Studio. Right, so then I wanna click blank project, uh, name it whatever you want, I guess, and then select what world you wanna do it in. So you can go with moon, you can make something cool in that, but we're going with earth and our frame rate, let's make it 60 and let's start our project. So now you can go to any place in the world you want, so you can either zoom in or you can type it in here. So let me go to the World Trade Center, and as you can see, once we're here, everything should be 3D and it looks pretty nice. So if you see, this is the bottom and this is our keyframe tab. So this is where we're going to make our keyframes. But what you want to now do is click on add attributes and then make sure that field of view and role is picked. Then click done. So now we're going to make the cinematic that I showed you at the beginning. So it's going to go from the sky and then, you know, pan into the buildings. So this is the building that I'm going to start from. So let's drag this a little bit up so we can see what we're working with. So this is our pan that goes left to right. Then this is tilt, you know, up or down. So first of all, altitude, let's go a little bit lower. And then if you want to move, you can move by holding it. Then if you want to rotate, you can hold the scroll wheel. And then, you know, move your mouse. That's how you sort of lock into an object. And you can also use your scroll wheel to zoom in or zoom out. But yeah, I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna put my roll, or actually my tilt, up like that. Maybe pan a little bit to the side, tilt up. Then I'm gonna make some keyframes. So click here, it's gonna keyframe everything basically. And yeah, now you're gonna decide what you wanna do. So I want my cinematic to just go forward. You know, maybe a little bit turning, but just forward. So that will only be keyframes at the start and keyframes at the end. So I'm gonna go all the way to the end. Uh, it's gonna be se seven seconds long. But I feel like that's cool. You know, it's not too fast or not too slow. So once I'm at the last point, I'm gonna set my tilt down then i'm gonna go to some place so i wanna have it somewhere around here let's drag our altitude a little bit down let's go a little bit forward then i'm gonna pan it a little bit to the right and once again move like that i feel like that's good enough as you can see you can see it in the action goes like this and of course you can adjust everything later but once you have done this you can also adjust the field of view so let's go to the beginning let's add like field of view at 40 and this is more zoomed out and I like this way more. So I'm going to have it at 40 and make it tilt a little bit more. So now you can see how it looks like. By my opinion, it's a little bit linear and needs some tweaking. So what you want to do is click Control A or click on one of these. Click Control A. It's going to highlight every single keyframe. Right click on one of the keyframes and click Auto Ease. So then it's going to be way smoother. But in my opinion, I feel like it's in the sky for too long. So I'm going to head on over to, to Tilt. So I'm going to click on it. And once you click on it, you have a graph. I know it's crazy. Even Vegas doesn't have this. But anyways, I'm going to click on this keyframe, drag it down like that. So we're going to make sort of a fast graph. So that it goes down faster. And you can, of course, mess with this. You can drag this as well, something like that. So that's what we have at the moment. And I feel like that's good enough. So now we're going to render it out. So if you're in this graph window, you can click on here again. And you can mess with anything you want. Move the keyframes and stuff like that. But we're finished. So we're going to click on a render. And over here, you can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to say, I don't know, cinematic one. Make sure you select as video.mp4. Then you have this Google Earth tag. 
Now you can move it around. So I usually move it all the way to the right, you know, as you can barely see it. And then make sure texture quality is at high and then click submit. So now what it has done is submitted it to a cloud render. And basically when Google is done rendering, they will send you out an email and notification that your render is done. And just like that, our render is finished. So you will either get an email or a sound that says, you know, your render is ready to download. So then you want to head on over to animation, cloud renders, and this is all of your renders. So you can see how it looks like over here. You know, if you like how it looks like, you want to click on here where it says download and then just save it like that. So yeah, and after that, if you want to do another cinematic, you want to click control A and then control X to delete all of the keyframes, just like that. And yeah, then you can move around and do the same thing as we did before. Right, so here we are in Vegas and I'm going to roughly show you what I've done for the edit in the beginning of the video. So I added some velocity and I made it at 70% to make sure that the video isn't like too fast. And then over here, I add a little speed ramp. So when the song hits the beat, it sort of speeds up and that looks pretty nice. But then I added some effects. So the effects I added on this is uni.knoll light factory easy. Pretty weird effect, but what it's done is added some light to it. And I feel like that looks pretty natural. So then I added some RSMB and what RSMB is, is basically motion blur. So instead of looking like, I don't know, some robotic footage, when you slap on RSMB, it makes it look like the motion is actually there. So I set the blur amount to one and that's how it looked like. So then I wanted to add some color correction because without color correction, it just looks kind of fake. So with it, this is how it looked like. And the effects I used for it was sharpen. I put it at 150. Then I went to looks and this is what I've done with that. So I clicked edit look and I didn't do this myself. I just went on over to grading head starts and clicked on three way head start. Basically apply this preset and I thought it looked pretty normal. So I clicked apply and finally I applied brightness and contrast. So up the contrast a little bit because without it, as you can see, it's a little bit gray. So with this, it makes it a little bit better. So yeah, with all of those effects, I feel like it started to be way better, but then I added some text. So of course I added the song name and then the artist. And then over here I added edited by Spixie. But yeah, over here I added some velocity and then I added a bunch of effects, but it's pretty simple. I added shake, you know, make sure the video is shaking. I had some uni.vhs, the sort of old school look. Then I added some blur more curves. And what blur more curves did is sort of make it zoom in because I want it to be like some helicopter footage. So as you can see, it zoomed in like that and I thought it looked pretty cool but then I added some BC posterized time which uh, made the footage way laggier than it was before and finally I slapped on some RSMB and I put that to one so yeah then we had the third clip and the third clip I did the same thing as the first one added RSMB and put it to one and of course added some velocity but then it came to the transitions so that was pretty easy I added some overlays and some adjustment layers so first thing I did is I added levels and then I keyframed input and so with that we got this a little light transition simple as that and then we transitioned with an overlay so it looks something like that and yeah that's just some things i used to make this little cinematic thing but yeah guys that was the google earth studio thing i don't know what to call it i guess it's google maps but in 3d but yeah, if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like and i'll see you in the next one goodbye